watching Fox 8 News. And good morning again. It is 8.21 now. It's spring, and for a lot of us, that means spring freshening up the house. And one way to do that is just by painting. But you can make it uh, more than simply rolling paint on the walls. And joining me now is interior designer Chet Porsche with uh, some neat ideas. And we can go beyond just rolling paint on a wall. You've Absol got a, a number of different techniques to use. Absolutely. You know, Chris, everybody's pretty much familiar with faux finishing. Mm -hmm. But today I'm going to teach you a couple of new modern takes on faux finishing. It's called glazing and stenciling. Okay. So this is a DIY. You can do this yourself. But if you decide later that you want to take it a step further, you can go to an artesian. And I'll show you some really professional work done by this great guy named Corey Michaels. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is there's some basic things that you're probably going to need. A brush. A brush. I know what that you is. You know what okay. that is, right? Okay. Um, there's this glazing process, which you can basically find anywhere. Um, helm paint, you know, I try to like to stay local. Right. Make sure you try to sh shop local. Also, this metallic paint, okay. which is really good. And all this stuff is very affordable. What you basically do is you take this glazing. Okay. You mix it in this bowl. Okay. Once you do that, you mix it with the metallic paint, okay. mix it up a little bit, and then you take your brush, and it's very simple. You just blot it on the end, okay. take off some of the excess, and then you start in a kind of X motion, like a sweeping motion. And just remember that it's not a wrong or a right thing. It's just, it's your way of the way you want to do it. You are becoming the artist. You are creating your own look. So there is no wrong or right way when you do this. And don't worry about it if you put it on too heavy, because actually what we're going to do after this, we can actually blot it off, and you'll get to see what happens here. So if you were going to do an entire room, you'd want to do a little section of the wall? Absolutely. You do a little section then. at a time, because if you try to do the whole wall, this is going to dry, and then when you go back to do the blotting, you actually be able to see the lines there. Oh, okay. So once that's done, after you do this, you take a lint-free um, rag, okay. and when you get the lint-free rag, you start with the blotting process. And what that entails is actually just turning. Just turning. And you see how it starts to create this right. really beautiful effect? Oh, you just, neat. Yeah, you just continue to do this. And, you know, really simple. Once again, everybody has this artistic, you know, kind of element to them. And, you know, everybody wants to create something that's really great. And a great thing about um, faux finishing and about this glazing process is that you can do this on a wall that's already been faux finished, or you can do it on a wall that's basically just a plain wall. You can create this faux finishing effect and then do the glazing on top of that. If uh, if you have a, a, a wall that's already painted, maybe a brighter color, should, right. you, should you paint it white first? No, or you don't have it to do matter? Actually, the brighter the color of the wall, the, the better it will show. See. You can basically see Oh, that. okay. Yeah, the better it will come out. And then after that's done, if you want to take it a step further, you can actually use a stencil. Okay. And that's what I've done here. We've cut out a stencil, and you can actually have these stencils cut out anywhere. You can actually find one online and then kind of trace it and cut it out yourself. Oh, okay. And then you take this. It's a spatula. That's right. what I'm going to call it. Right, we call it a spatula. Yeah. A trowel. A trowel. And you take some spackling. Okay. You put it on the corner of this, and then you just basically put it down, and you just kind of go over it, and it will create show you this. So you're putting that over what you've you Over like. what you've done, okay. yes. And you don't have to let that dry, but you do have to let this dry once that's done. And you basically pick it up and you see it creates oh, that that's effect. that's pretty neat. Yeah. And then would you would you then go and paint over that? Or? I'll show you the finished oh, okay. product. So this is, you know, this is the prep work. Once that's done, Chris, then guys, this will be your finished product, as you can see here. This is the actual um, glazed wall, and this is actually the glazed wall with the stencil in, and then I glazed on top of that. It almost so, looks like little tiles. It so. really does, yeah. It's like really little glass tiles. And it's easy, it's affordable, you can do it yourself. But once again, like I said, if you want to take it a step further, here is some work that's done by a local artisan named Corey Michaels, who is a great guy who actually taught me a lot of this oh, okay. work. This is a finished product of one of his. I mean, this really looks like leather. It looks like yeah. shagreen, doesn't it? I yeah, mean, feel he, it. How do he do? Wow. Yeah, it's really, it's a little more detailed than I can get into. Right. But if you go to my website at checkpoorshowdesign.com, um, I'll have all these up here, and then you can actually see how it's done. I'll give you really brief explanations on how you can create this effect here. So this is like, I like to say it's like, you know, it's like leather. It's like chagrin. It's like right. crocodile skin or something. Once this is done, and you know. And it's pretty affordable. It's totally affordable. Affordable, right. and you can do it yourself. You got a couple this is of like, other yeah, this is real. like a Venetian plaster look to it. Really beautiful. And is that 
is that using the That's uh, using the this, okay. using the spackling, but it's just a different technique. You know, a little more detail, a little more intricate, you'd have to do this. But once again, after that's done, then basically the glazing process is what really gets this. I have one more to show right fast. And you've got all these available on your On, on your my site. website, okay, checkcoreshowdesign.com, and go to my blog. This, you was asking me about the color wall. If you had a right. wall that was red or blue or something, all you do is, once again, create the spackling process and then glaze on top of that. So really easy things to do very to create. Easy to do and very affordable. easy, very affordable. All right, Chef Warshow, interior designer. Thank you very much. You're for welcome, Chris. Appreciate it. All good advice. All right.